From WSAD, this is News 3 on your side at 6. The landlord, she haven't even offered us water. She haven't even stopped to ask us what's going on or just to tell us what's going on from her point of view. She literally lives up the street and she works at the forward place right here. Three days after their water was cut off, angry neighbors who live in a Sylvania mobile home park called News 3 on your side for help. Good evening, everyone. I'm Russ Riesinger. And I'm Tina Taya Shaw. Thank you for joining us. More on that story in a minute. First, a developing story. A plane diverted to Jacksonville. The name of a passenger on board, apparently a match to one on the terrorist watch list. We are following this story. We'll bring you any updates and be sure to watch NBC Nightly News. No water to flush their toilets, bathe, or cook. That's what some Sylvania neighbors have been dealing with for three days now. Sylvania is about an hour and a half northwest of Savannah in Screven County. Here's the breakdown. City officials say the water was cut off because the owners of Wiley's Mobile Home Park, just at the Sylvania city limits, hadn't paid their water bill. The Sylvania city manager says leaks in the old piping in the neighborhood caused rates to rise. The owners didn't repair the pipes and the bill just kept going up. The city says it sent the owners, Vicki and Wayne Wiley, a notice in November saying they had to pay the bill in full by January 26th or that service would be cut off. We try to help them and I can see how well they try to help us. I got to go. Thank you. But if you're really trying to help them, wouldn't you get them some water? Yes. Why do you think I got a well, a well drinking outfit sitting right there, lady? Well, sir, you, you sort of have to pay the city water bill. The well they drilled that well this afternoon, and I hooked that well to that power pole right there. They will have water. They will. This afternoon, they're going to have some water? Yes, they will. Well, New 3's Randy Hempel just returned from Sylvania. And Randy, they're supposed to have water today, but not from the well. That's exactly right, and they're beyond thankful. That's to the city. When we left Sylvania, a well drilling rig was sitting idle. Since then, the people there tell me that drilling has begun, and once a pipe is fixed, the city is going to help furnish water until two wells are finished. Until then, they're still without water, and it's been that way since Wednesday. This is just devastating. This is devastating. I just lost my job in December the 7th. The plant shut down. And then on top of this, for us not to have no water out here, and these children that attend the public school systems, this is just ridiculous. Angel Roberts sent her seven-year-old to his grandfather so he could bathe before going to school. The rest of the family, like their neighbors, stuck in their home that hasn't had running water for three days. But she doesn't want to take me inside to show me. I'm just too embarrassed. That's all I can say. I'm just too embarrassed. I'm sorry. Yeah, can't flush the toilets. It's, it rinks of urine and feces. And my wife got cancer. I need to take my medicine and everything. But I don't want to be sick. I don't feel like being back in the hospital. For that, Veronica Ball needs water. All of these neighbors are standing on the side of the road to let others know what's going on. With signs like this one, welcome to Screven's Little Haiti. The owners of the mobile home park, Vicki and Wayne Wiley, live just down the street. They haven't stopped to help, but some, like Marie Gant, pulled over with jugs of water. And they need to eat, and a lot of times you can't cook anything without water. And I'm just hoping that, you know, they get some water so that way they can live. Pay the city. We want water. Vicki and Wayne Wiley, we want water. Water. W-A-T-E-R. Water. They say they know the city is not to blame. In this situation, the, the owners of the trailer park are the city customers. They have a master meter and they have their own water system inside their park. That's, that's ev very evident falling apart, you know, uh, due to lack of repairs. Um, and the people are just caught in a catch-22. Crawford says the issues with bad pipes have been going on since May of 2008 and that they tried to work with the owners to make repairs. A city ordinance actually says the city will do the work if the owners pay for materials, but it's a $70,000 plus cost and the owners didn't go for it. We'll continue to follow this story until the water is fully restored. Randy Hempel, WSAV News 3.